Hey guys, so it is Tuesday morning. Um, I just walked like four miles because today I have to get my 10,000 steps in and I also have to lift. So yesterday was Monday and like last week I tried to do weightlifting. I tried to do weightlifting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but this week I've changed that to Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday because I realized that Mondays I do best by just going out and just walking before the work week because that is really helping me as far as like clear my mind. And for me, I can kind of like see my workflow for the week. I can kind of get an idea of how busy it's going to be. And sometimes when I see that ahead of time, like on Sundays or whatever, it makes me like a little anxious about being able to get everything done. So I think that I'm definitely going to keep my long walks like yesterday Monday I did six miles so I think I'm gonna keep those long walks on Mondays and then Tuesday like today I went out and did four miles and like now I'm ready to I'm ready to lift I'm ready to grind hey kid don't ever let them get inside your head they'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my bed <laughs> so treat the worst Today of times just like just a from the girl. If only I could Hey guys, it is currently Thursday morning Oh my gosh, is that drool? I think so I slept good, I went to bed so early I think I was in bed by 8 and I probably fell asleep around 8.30. It's like 3.28 Thursday morning. So I got up. Um, I need to leave the house by 7 but I also need to lift and I thought I needed to do my cleaning routine. However, it looks like my husband and the kids got that done last night. It's a winning season. No. Um, so I am going to, well, in full transparency, I've just been chilling on the couch for like 15 minutes so far. And I'm going to get up. I have two notes that I need to get done for work. Um, this morning we have case conference. And in my OT and I have this little competition of who has the most notes to and I only have two so I'm gonna go in with zero <laughs> all right guys um yeah so I'm gonna sit down with my planners do my morning planning um update my fitness planner with my workouts my food I need to update my planner with my food that I ate yesterday and then I get my workout done so far I've been on track with my workouts but oh yesterday oh my gosh yesterday i ate chips like probably two servings yeah so that wasn't good but other than that this week has been a good week of eating and we'll see how the results go okay guys this was thursday morning and i kind of started my workout out with a warm-up but i was also like praying and listening to gospel music and just worshiping god and just I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I just get so overwhelmed when I think about his mercy and his goodness and just how amazing he is in my life. And that, like without him, I could literally, I wouldn't be who I am. And I was just overwhelmed with gratitude this morning. So that's kind of what you see here. I was just really spending time with God. So treat the worst of times just like a test. If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like and Find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Today for breakfast I am having some eggs and rice Because I'm going to have a little bit of rice As you make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown but go with him. So They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make you look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be 
little over eight pounds. Obviously, as you guys can see, the sun is up. It is so freaking hot. Exactly 8.5 pounds. I'm hungry. <laughs> I haven't had breakfast yet this morning. Did have some coffee. But I am starting to get hungry, you guys. So, for the next hour and a half, I'm going to think about what I'm going to eat. Um, originally, I was just going to have some peanut butter, rice cakes, and banana, but now, oh, I kind of got some bacon, but I'm too busy to the store, so I don't have any of that at the house, um, could make eggs, I kind of want my food right away, I don't know, we'll see, but one and a half miles left to go, and then I need to shower and get ready for work. Oh, you guys, I wanted to come back on and share something with you. So, during this 10 mile walk, um, I can feel my, I can feel my butt cheeks. Like, I can feel my glutes, um, like being activated. I can't really explain it, but I think the, Wait, my feet is working. Because I can definitely like feel contractions a little bit. <laughs> Alright guys, so I am back at the house. Um, I am going to have some rice. Some rice. And six ounces of this chicken breast. This salsa. All right, guys, so let's do some quick body shots. So you guys, let me know down in the comment section, would it be more beneficial if I wore like the same outfit every time? My thought process was that I would compare like week one to week four. And I would wear the same thing like every four weeks. But if you guys want me to wear the same thing every week, just leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Obviously, I don't really expect to see like physical changes every week, which is why I thought week four, eight, and 12 would be legit. But let me know, let me know down in the comment section. All right guys, let's talk about this week. Okay, so I thought we can use a little bit of a change of scenery. So this week, you guys, I am freaking blown away. I did not expect this. Well, I guess I did, but I didn't. So let's just go back and recap. So Sunday, I only walked like um, 2,402 steps. It was more of a rest day last Sunday. And then Monday, I did six miles, so 15,024 steps. And then Tuesday, four miles for 12,628 steps. Wednesday, four miles, 12,588 steps. Thursday, 6,332 steps. That was um, that was a lift day, and so it was Tuesday. So Friday, I walked 10 miles at 25,712 steps. Saturday was an active rest day. That's the day that we went to Wild Florida. And then Sun and I'm sorry, so Saturday, I actually forgot my watch at home. I was so annoyed by that. So yeah, I forgot my watch at home, so I didn't track any of my steps there. And then on Sunday, I didn't wear my watch either. So anyways, you guys, so you know last week, I'll put it here. Last week, I weighed in at 226.2. This morning, this morning, your girl weighed in at 231.8. Oh my gosh. So we're talking about a gain of 5.8 six pounds hold on I need to sit down yeah so I had a gain of 5.6 pounds like what in the entire okay so let's talk about nutrition did I cheat this week so two times I had chips I had chips at wild Florida and then I had chips one other night I don't remember but outside of that, I did not cheat. 
did not cheat like this is what I was talking to you guys about like I know my body when I first start lifting I tend to gain weight but I will say like I feel this week I feel fit you know I know it's only been like a short period of time this is week two so I do feel more fit which is kind of crazy but I also feel very inflamed like as a matter of fact when I weighed in this morning I went and like pulled my computer out and I booked a massage session with my massage therapist we're gonna meet on Friday because I do feel pretty inflamed I'll show you guys what I just feel like my legs are pretty swollen I don't know like I'm not doing a good job of showing you I just feel like my legs are really swollen and like my arms I mean again like I said I'm not looking for like immediate change but I do feel that my arms are like becoming a little bit more firm so I'm just gonna stick with it I'm gonna trust myself that I'm doing the right thing um, I'm gonna try to continue to stay hydrated keep hitting my workouts like when I work out I only lifted twice this week and but each session was like maybe an hour and 15 minutes because I'm doing total body. So, and afterwards I feel so freaking strong. So I'm just gonna trust that my body is like responding to the lifting and I'm really like pushing myself too. Like I'll do um, some things without weights or lower weights, but like for the most part, I, I'm getting it. Like I'm really trying to see some progress and get stronger, so. Yeah, a lot of things went well this week, which I shared with you guys all earlier, but please don't leave me. Trust me on this. I'm trying to trust myself. Oh, and that's another thing too. I'm also working on my mindset this week. I think that sometimes we manifest our own thoughts. And I think that I have been continuously saying, which is true, like based upon the past, whenever I start lifting weights that I tend to gain weight. But this week I'm gonna focus on like, I am capable of lifting weights and not gaining weight. Like I am capable of lifting weights and still losing weight. I am capable of lifting weights and still being able to lose weight and get to a healthy body weight because that is still pretty important to me along with getting strong. Oh guys, so I almost forgot to also share some true thoughts that happened. So when I first saw the number on the scale after booking my massage, I kind of just wanted to like do like a crash diet. I wanted to try intermittent fasting. I wanted to, like I just wanted to jump off the bandwagon of what I was currently doing, even though it's only been two weeks. I was like, this crap isn't working. I need to do something differently. But for this challenge, and I'll do more challenges in the future, maybe I'll even do a 12 week intermittent fasting challenge. But for this challenge, I want to stay the course and see I need to figure this out. I need to figure out what works for my body. So just in case you guys are wondering what I'm eating, I currently eat a carbohydrate at breakfast along with fruit and a protein. I have um, for lunch about six ounces of veggies, a protein and a fat and fruit. And then for dinner, I have about a pound of veggies, a protein, one serving of popcorn, and oh and a serving of fat so i'm going to stay the course and see what happens but i did feel like you know what mm, let me do a juice fast let me do i was like tempted to do something because i want i'm like everyone else i want to see uh i want to see a change i want to see that um what i'm doing is actually working but you can't always just judge that by the number of scales so i'm going to Continue. I'm gonna stay the course and, if, and so if you're thinking about abandoning your current program and it's been like two weeks Stop girl. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video Don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye